Hey guys, in this Vampire Survivors video, we are going to tell you about the new add-on and gameplay option you have is the random Azo activated ability. So now when you start your game up, you're going to get to pick one of your cards that you've gotten unlocked with your achievements. And these achievements are getting, you know, a certain character to level 99 and they are unlocked, of course. And we'll go into it right away. And so you can see it right here. There, Right now there is just, you know, you get one right off the bat and it's pretty much the best one. Um, I think I think you get the awakening right off the bat. No, you get the healing one off the bat. Sorry, but anyway, so let's carry on, and I'll show you what these things do. So these cards, um, you get to pick one at the start. They're not really random, so I don't know why I called them random. Also, maybe they will be random later on. But there are a whole bunch of cards probably you're going to be unlocked later on. And when you start, you get to pick one to start with, and then after any of the chests that you pick up have a random chance to actually uh, be able to pick another card so uh, you can you're not limited to one card let's look at the facts so this is the best one right here so far that I, in my opinion it gives you plus three revivals if you can actually see this on the screen I don't know how small it is and it's white on white but yeah you get plus three revivals and when you use one you get 10 percent to your max health you get plus one armor five percent might and area duration and speed so five percent to all your basic stats and plus one armor and ten percent health so that is really awesome and of course you want to abuse the crap out of this uh, so yeah, get the revival skill yourself and get the revival item and then you can end up killing yourself like seven times or something like that and give yourself like 70% max health and plus seven to armor and you know, whatever 35% to all of these not nice effects on your character, which will really help out with that harder uh, factory levels and stuff like that when because it's getting harder, this game's getting harder, so these things will really, really help out. So that is the one, the one of the ones right there. We'll go to the next one. And of course, this one, so there's lots of car, uh, cards like this one right here. And this is like overall projectile speed. So this just affects the speed to negative 50 to plus 200%. Uh, cycles over 10 seconds. So it's going to go up. It's going to go down. But overall, it's going to be a bigger bonus. So you get a little bit slower in some pieces sometimes. And a lot faster other times. It's just a, it's a big bonus. It's uh, But of course, you know, weapon speed isn't really that really... Uh, it's, it's, it's fun, but it's not really more damage and more stuff like that. It's more focused. Okay, the next card, uh, number six card, is healing is doubled. So that's kind of handy for anything that uses healing. So when you recover hit points, you damage enemies nearby. So this works with the garlic and the whip. And it doesn't show it on here, but it shows it when you actually pick the card. It works on the garlic, the whip, and the food. Uh, the whip that's evolved, of course, when it, it heals. And all that healing is doubled. And it has a pulsating AoE that, uh, that so you know where, it, you know, you know its range. And so anytime you heal, you get damage. And of course, the garlic, uh, when you heal with the garlic evolved, you get, it gets more damage on it. So you're getting more damage from that too when you're healing because your healing is doubled. But that effect is still doesn't make garlic like super, super powerful or any more powerful very you know uh, doesn't make doesn't get doesn't break the game in any way it's not even double damage basically you double the healing but you're not getting even close to double the damage that's what i'm trying to get it let's go to the next card right here and we jump all all the way up to like 16 and lots of cards are going to be unlocked in the future so this one here slash is critical hits for the listed weapons that doubles overall critical damage so you double the critical damage so now critical actually does a good damage and you get critical hits. Uh, some of the weapons get critical hits when you evolve them, but these weapons get more critical hits, I guess. Uh, and these these things work on the axe, the knife, and the whip. That will get this these effects. So if this gets crit, crit, crits for all these weapons, and it actually makes them all useful. So be wary of that, and note that I just did a run with all of those weapons. Well, not the whip, um, but I did it with the axe and the knives, and they just killed it in damage. They uh, upgrade the weapon so much that they are actually effective with all the other, as effective as all the other weapons. So I did a, I did a full run with this and, and tried it out and it was, it made like the knives awesome and it made the axes awesome and they just did a killer tons of damage. They were like in the over like 8 million damage each for those weapons and they were the top weapons. They outbeat the evolved new guns. So I was using that, those two and they, uh, I think they outbeat the uh, the new evo evolution on the rune chaser. Runecaster Evolution. They all beat this one, the no future, for damage. Uh, yeah, and they were top down. But I was also trying out the next, uh, the last card here. We'll go to this last card here because this, this is this is a part of it right too. Um, the, the listed weapons uh, explode on impact. It's just, you know, the candles and the fireball. Only the fireball it, it works for right now. So when you're using the fire wand and the uh, hellfire, 
it explodes. And it's a small AOE to start with, but if you get the uh, the uh, candelier here, candelor, um, it expands the area and it does the same damage as the fireball. So the fireball hits something and then it explodes in a small area and each of them explode in a small area. That did the most damage out of all the weapons on my last run when I was testing this out. Because you can get more than one card. I ended up with three cards. And so using the Heart of Fire, it, it actually makes the wand very effective for damage now. So it's no longer back down to with the axe and all that kind of stuff. They're no longer in the bottom of the field. If you use these cards and you get ex the explosion, it's top damage. And these were out. I, don't know, I tried the axe and it, and it outbeat the uh, pentagram in my one level, in my one run. So these things are really great. So they really do affect all these older weapons and makes them uh, more uh, more effective. So let's go to this next one here. Uh, we did the criticals and we go to the next one. Lost and found. It's the same thing for duration. I did not try a duration build yet on any of the things because that's the only thing that affects it so far. And it's just, you know, negative 50 plus 200% on duration. So it's a random thing for duration. Uh, plain and simple. Not something I tried yet because I didn't really do anything with durations. Maybe the other cars will unlock something for duration. And we've seen the heart of fire, the explosions on there, right there. So those are the five cards, uh, six cards, sorry, that were unlocked. It was five achievements for five guys. To get level 99 it takes a while to get there but it's there so those are all the cards and that's what happens when you get them you get one at the start to remind you and then you can get random cards throughout the level when you pick up your chests you have a random chance to get one of these and there you go that's all the information i think you need to know about these cards so far and in the future there's going to probably be a whole bunch more unlocks i'm guessing four or five each update that he does weekly is going to add, you know, maybe four or five new cards with new effects that for you to unlock. And um, you got the basics and how this works now. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.